We all know Avatar. It's the highest grossing movie of all time. But the story isn't exactly original. Hey, wait a second. In fact, it reminds me of Fern Gully. Surely James Cameron didn't copy Fern Gully. <laughs> So, Avatar is about a mulleted moron who is physically transformed to blend with the native intelligent humanoid species of a forest. Your new buddy, Jake. Good. Yeah, I can see you can remember that one. Who live in a special tree which his employers are seeking to destroy. That's how they move up and down. We're gonna need accurate scans on every column. Roger that. But even the details are spookily similar. For instance, the hero gets lost and chased by a giant purple predator. Then he's saved by and falls in love with the tribe leader's daughter. She teaches him to feel the pain of nature and that it's all connected, while they have romantic swims and dance around in a sparkly fluorescent forest. Along the way, he competes with the local alpha male and mourns the death of an older female mentor. And I am not your enemy! Why don't you come with me and the boys? We'll give you a taste of real Fern Gully wildlife. I love you. I'll always be with you. Then it all ends in an aerial battle against the massive evil human machines and nature wins. A lot of these similarities are just story tropes, but some are just suspicious. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Did James Cameron copy Fern Gully? This dream is history. Well, Fern Gully came out in 1992, and Cameron says he started writing Avatar in 1995, so he might have seen it when he started writing. Hmm. You know what else came out in 1995? White man stole their lands and their movies. This is sad. Very sad only. Well, all right, Gummy. We're going to war. So what do you think? Is Avatar a real ripoff, or is it just one big coincidence? Crumb TV.